couldn't see him in the madness that was present over there. So, I'd like to thank you all firstly for taking the time and the effort to come on this horrendous day. And what I would like... Can you hear me? Right, I'm going to have to show, which is not very Disney-fied. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. The last time that we stood together on this green, we knew that there was around 82,500 women who had died without receiving a penny of their pension. Now, currently, we think the expected figure is in the region of 273,000 women dying without their pension. Nearly, well, over a quarter of a million women. It's so horrific, it almost depersonalizes it by giving those massive figures. So today, I would like to take a little time to make it a little more personal. And if there are any MPs here that are willing to come out in the rain and snow to see us today, I would like them to come to me and take these words back with them into Parliament. I would like them to take them back into Parliament and make it their personal crusade to cut through the spin and the misinformation and demand that this government does something to end this disastrous injustice. <laughs> Last year, I received a post as many of you would have seen, from a, regarding a lady who had just died and had left us all a message and her permission to share. After reading it, I was completely heartbroken and it reminded me of exactly why we need to fight and to fight on. She is one of the reasons that we cannot give up. Not now, and not as long as this injustice is destroying lives. She apologised for a spelling mistake due to her illness, but this lady had worked from the age of 15 years old in various skillful careers and was also a teacher for many years. I don't know whether I ever met this lady, but I do know that I will never forget her name. And her name is Pat Ritchie. Remember it well. Before I read a message, I would first like to read the statement given to me by her son a couple of weeks ago, who wanted me to read it to all of you. Clayton Lee Ritchie told me, this was an important course for my mother. My mother was a single parent that despite the barriers women face every day, grabbed every opportunity, worked every day, and was cruelly let down at the end of her life. They call it equality. And this from a young man, they call it equality. The irony of it is that even if it is, my mother waited 66 years for it, facing structural inequality every single day with no compensation. The moment the government saw an opportunity to give, save a quick buck, they hijacked the agenda with callous disregard for people like my mother, who had no chance to prepare. My mother claimed one partial month's state pension before she died. Good luck with all your endeavours. And that is from Clayton Lee Ritchie, who was Pat Ritchie's son. Pat Ritchie, 1956 to 2022, died after collecting one month's pension. This was her message 
to all the 1950s women and to the government at the time, and I don't make any apologies because I will get emotional. Please, God, listen to them. We are begging for our rights. I am 65 next month, and it is very doubtful that I will be around to receive my pension, even though I have worked since I was 15. I am not the only one. I am not wanting to be special. We need to be heard. I had to retire last year as having a diagnosis of Lewy body dementia. It has already ravaged my body and I am inconsolable. I am crying writing this. I cry every day. I can't help it. Why do I have to rely on benefits to live? when I just want what's mine. I am having an end of life plan made tomorrow. I have had to leave my home and go to a place where they can help me. I pay for this. I know what this disease means to me. I am already suffering. I also know what I have to come. I watched my father die of Louis body dementia. It was the most traumatic time of my life. I know how it will end. There is nothing that can be done. I am so angry that I and my sisters have been robbed. I know I'm angry, but this is a fiasco. Do what we are asking and give us what we deserve, what is owed to us. It is not going to stop my fate, but at least I can die knowing I made a difference. Bless you, my sisters, and I am so proud of your perseverance. God bless you. And that was just Richie, 1956, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 